Wale Ojo is not one to accept all, 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 all roles. You yeah. Know? There are certain actors you see in Hollywood that these ones are not prostitute actors, you know. They pick their roles. <laughs> and welcome to another episode of It's a Wrap. On today's episode, we'll be talking about Nollywood movie Breath of Life that premiered on Amazon Prime December last year. And doing this with me today, I have in the studio, as usual, Dami Dawson and a very special guest, Ali Ojo. Hi, guys. How are we doing? Hi. I'm good. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, so straight into business. Breath of Life. First of all, what do we think about the title of the movie? Ladies first. I'm taking a deep breath. I love it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Breath of Life sounds um it's a good it's a good title. I mean what what, what would you think the idea of a film called Breath of Life is? Um it sounds like a very conscious film to me. Don't sound like the regular circle of films. So if if I see if I see the title without watching the film, I would expect to see a very um, detailed lines of consciousness or particularly as it relates to human beings and how we live our lives, you know. And I mean, maybe not exactly a religious film, but something very particular and very straight to the point and intentional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what that's what we come to mind for Bread of Life. But yeah. Yeah, I think I think it was. And I think the name and the movie and everything that has to do with the movie blends in well, because like Dami said, Breath of Life is something that you want to watch. It obviously like talks about how life is in general without anybody being like in your face. It's just there. It tells you what you need to know. It tells you what you look forward to seeing in that movie. And it was everything that I looked forward to seeing. So, yes, I really liked it. Okay. Yeah, um, same thing, same thing. Um, the story was good. Um, I think you asked about the theme of the film of the of the movie. So um, I think I think for the better part, it was it was preaching, it was preaching, um, it was preaching the intentionality of life and how certain things can be put in place for. It was teaching that for sometimes life, life might not be for you in particular. Yeah. So God might keep you. So that's why I say that's an element of this Bible Christian thing going on. Because even when you saw the church thing. And um, so for me, it was more of most times your life is not exactly for you. <clears throat> I don't know if it makes sense. Yeah, it makes so it's a like, whole lot it's of sense. like your life, <clears throat> you're probably not, you're living for someone else. Yeah. Right, which was why you see in the film when Timmy's character tried to kill himself a number of times. Meanwhile, God was keeping him for someone that was, that was coming, that was not even yeah. probably born then. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, the, 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 the story was direct, it made a lot of sense. And I liked how simple it was. And it was also depicted as simple as possible. Yes. Okay, so character-wise, do we think that the characters were well-developed? Ali? Hmm. I loved it. Yes. From the, from the beginning of the movie to the end, from the community, the people that were um, put in the movie, um, we have Ademola and we have Ole Ojo. That development was crazy. Like, at a point, I started seeing Ademola in Wallis. Like, I started seeing it and it was just really amazing. Like, I, I, I honestly like the part that, or the fact that they kind of removed the, what's it called? They kind of removed the wife and the child. I mean, I don't wish that for anybody, but I'm just saying, like, I can't, I can't imagine who would have played the role of the wife, like older mm. version of it. So the character development was sweet, just swift and straight to the point. No unnecessary scenario. And it was just good. I, I honestly liked it, yes. Yeah, so um for you to for you to probably understand understand breadth of life, you should understand the director and the kind of films that he does. Now BB Shasha is a director. And we produce, it was produced by Eka Adewo. Yeah. Now, Bibi Shashore did Banana Island Ghost. He did God Calling. And you'd mm. understand that the kind of films that he does are very conscious films. Mm. Some very con inconsistencies with mm. Banana Island Ghost. It was funny, but then it was it was little, you know. But God Calling came, and it was conscious also with Zena Balogo and RMD and the likes. And you see this new one, <clears throat> Breath of Life, is, I would say to a large extent, was one of the best films to come out of Nigeria, wow. Hollywood, in 2023. Yeah. Despite some inconsistencies, the storyline was as simple as it could be. No, I'm not, I'm not going there. The storyline <laughs> the story was as simple as it could be, right? 
if you also look at the casting, I mean, you talked about character development. First off, the casting. The similarity between Adimolade Donya and Wale Ojo was so on point. And it only made sense for someone who had achieved a lot in life to lose everything in one night mm. and want to kill himself and death not coming. For me, that was the beauty of the film. Yeah. And you see, you see how well they explained um, Timmy's character, that's Wale Ojo then. You see the old things is one, the words, the sports thing, everything. Yeah, how he grew you know, up. Everything, like, you know, we knew the was, backstory. There was, there was a good premise to probably understand, you know, this is who he is. Mm. So when you're trying to, if, if wherever you catch the film from, you would understand that this guy had everything to live for. And at, and, to us, and at the point, he had nothing to live for. Yeah. You know, he had his wife, he had his daughter. And also the, the role that Sambasa played, I, don't, I can't remember the name of the character now, <laughs> but the weak thing, I liked it. You know, I saw, I saw a number of reviews, people saying it doesn't, didn't make sense for him to just kill the person like that. But that character was put there to establish some sort of conflict, mm. which also opened up the plot of the entire story. Of the whole, yeah. Yeah, because if, if, if that did not happen, you know, understand, the story would not make a lot of sense. And for me, what, what I even liked again was also how Sambasa's character was killed. You know, it was a revenge, but revenge is not enough. Yeah. That's what the story was just saying. So the story is not for everybody, yeah. right? So that's why I said you understand the director and you see where he's coming from. Directors are used to, when, when you see, there are certain directors you see in Nollywood and the kind of films they do sort of describes them as a director or to the extent to which their um, uh, creativity or their creative license or whatever it could go. But for Bibi Shashara, he always wants you to understand and to learn something. So it's like, you've killed the person that killed your wife. What's the next What's thing? What's next right? thing? Right? And now you want to kill yourself. You've tried everything, but it's not working. You've you know, done everything, it's not working. That's not sure that there's a power that is bigger or a power that is higher. Mm -hmm. Like they used to say, the higher power that is bigger than you. And you know, everything flew into when he couldn't kill himself, then God sent someone. You know, that, and to be honest, I did not get it. Normally, I would predict the film normally. I would predict the film and assume that, oh, Chimeze coming in, what is this? What does he want from the man? I didn't even, I couldn't even plug it when I saw the asthmatic thing. Yeah. I couldn't plug yeah, it. Yeah, myself, I couldn't. You know, I, 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 I couldn't say, okay, this is what this guy has that Chimeze doesn't have. If I, if I was to plug anything, it'd probably be the money. Yeah. You know, and this guy doesn't, have a, he doesn't have a child. So I feel yes. like if he was going to leave everything, that was cliche anyways. And he was going to leave the thing to Chimeze because they eventually built a uh, bond, you know. But then the longest thing was what even got everybody, you know. Having to say, there's nothing for me anymore. I think this is why God kept me this long to give or to keep this long safe, this long safe for this guy so that this guy could continue his life. So there's, there's a lot of beauty in the film. It's not your regular, you know, mm. your regular Nigerian film <laughs> and the ones that we talk about. So, yeah. Shout out to Bibi Shashore for that. And some inconsistencies I will still mention, just to balance the conversation, okay. right? Now, um, maybe when you get to the settings question or location, then I would, I would answer them so I don't jump. Okay, I was actually going to ask about cinematography and costume. Okay. Yeah. So what do we think? Um, Aluji, what do you think? Cinematography, yes, it was, it was, I mean, for the beginning, it actually kind of, showcased how it was back then do you understand they were they, they didn't have a lot of um technology or equipment so yeah it actually kind of showed that and for costume it was for me i'm going to give it like a seven over ten because it was good costuming everything was everything was just good for costuming everything was good <clears throat> i didn't see any need for oh why is this costume there why is this person wearing this everything was at that it was appropriate at that time so yes it was good for me costuming was good um you said cinematography cinematography was good but dummy <laughs> dummy said there was yeah, something in the yeah. background i mean okay, okay so let me, let me start by saying <clears throat> when you there are some actors that when you see them in the film you would for them to even accept to make the film or to be in the film wale Oji is not one to accept all all all, all, all roles you yeah know? there are certain actors you see in Hollywood that these ones are not prostitute actors you know they pick their roles and if it speaks to them, they want to be in the film. If it doesn't speak to them, they don't. So for me, seeing Wale Oje in that film one was a plus for me because he's a very he's, he's an outstanding actor. There are very few of them. He's an outstanding actor. 
and he played his role well. Now, we're talking cinematography. I can't remember the, guy, the name of the DOP again, but I know he's done a lot of things with, uh, with African Magic. Can't remember his name, right? Do you know that thing was shot in Ibadan? And for them to depict Ibadan in that light was beautiful. I, 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 I heard that most of the scenes were shot in Ibadan, and it was nice. From even the growth from the 90s or the 80s, whatever, built up to when they eventually came to the present time, where they spent a lot of time. It was beautiful. The angles were nice, and um, the DOP paid attention. And I also liked the close-up photography with the face. Like I said, no, most, most um, Nollywood filmmakers or cinematographers do not play with close-up with the face. They're always trying to do, is either you're doing a, um, a wide shot or a close shot, or you're doing this. They don't do a lot of face shots which I like, uh, you know, and it shows that the direction for the film was good. Now, um, cinematography and what again did you talk costume. about? Costume. Costume was great. They did well in the costume part, you know. They, they tried to let us see a bit of how they used to dress back in the days and how they used to, even with the, with the coats that Chimeze had on, you yes. know, with everything, it was, it was well detailed. I mean, but detailing would only be to an extent, mm -hmm. right? Um, there's some things that I felt were sort of inconsistent. Maybe they paid less attention to it. But don't get me wrong, you don't take away from the story, but I'm talking about, there was a part in the film, which I bet a lot of people did not notice. <laughs> there was a part in the film where, nah, there was a part in the film where, if you saw the played number of the car that got burned, mm. that, was when, <laughs> that was when he killed, when, um, when I did doing his car, yeah, yeah, when the queer devil and the child was, yeah. characters were killed, not them, you know. Mm. The plate number they use is the new plate number that we use in, in 2024. That plate number was in, maybe they didn't pay attention to that. They just wanted to use a car that fit the cars, kind of cars they drive back in the days. But yeah. they didn't pay attention to the plate number. So I'm sure after saying this, people are going to watch again to, be, to see what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, that one. And also there was a lot of, you know, modern thing happening that we know that wasn't exactly developed back then. You know, like I saw a lot of POP, uh, POP thing going on. I don't know when POP, you know, was brought in, but I know back then it was. <laughs> but then, you know, this 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 bits and bits apart, and also um, also to to understand um, why Timmy's character, that's um, Wale Ojo, why Wale Ojo would, you know, the there was a part when him and um, Chimeze Chimeze wanted to teach him how to drive. Yeah, you know that never happened. That never happened. Like he never taught him. No, he never taught him how to drive. Yeah, he just and so he, I think he went from something to another thing. He started started hitting he started hitting um to me. So that that part was also there. There's also another I mean, so these are bits and bits and bits. That's why I said that you should understand when there are three kind of people that watch films, fans, those that are watching critics and filmmakers. Fans would never see those things. Because they are they are just engulfed in the beauty of the film. And they're like, Oh, I'm seeing my favorite actor. That's all they see. You know, but I'm not a fan. I don't watch a film as a fan. <laughs> I'm not don't get me I'm not a fan. I don't watch a film to just, you know, laugh. And I'm not I'm not intentionally looking for errors. But if you if you if you know film, if you know film and you're watching a film and you see some inconsistencies, you would identify it. You would just pick it. You would just know when something is wrong. And that's the kind of things that I feel when I watch it. But I also like the part when um, Ali Ojo couldn't read the newspaper. I think it's Glasgow Brooklyn. And he had the guy to read for him. That was good. That was really good. You know, if you understand dynamics of filmmaking, you know, you see that that part was actually really interesting. And it, tells, it told a lot to the entire idea of the film, you know. So as a matter of fact, Chimeze was there to help the guy for the larger part of the film. But when it came to the time that mattered the most, the help had to be returned. And the only way it could be returned was to give his life mm -hmm. for Chimeze. Mm -hmm. So those twists, those twists are what makes the film a different kind of story. So cinematography was good. You know, costume was great. I loved it. Yeah. Okay. That being said, mm. it's time to rate the movie. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate Breath of Life outside of Ali? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll say 10 over 10. Wow. Damn, you don't even try it. Wow. Whatever I want to say, save it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say 
while I was coming here, I was going to say 20 over 10. I was like, let me not be too dramatic. So, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't know why that movie is not making heads with. Like, why Why is that nobody talking about it? It's not like we're not intelligent in this country. I, 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 I think it's just... Because um, it's, it's a very... I think it's just... I think it's just boards or uh, the kind of films that people like to watch. Nigerians are not built on a lot of drama. They like to watch skit makers. They, they like, yeah, a lot of skit makers. <laughs> you know, and like skit makers that can't actually act, act films. I can mention names, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> like, like, like one very Dope. funny, funny dreaded guy that can, that can, you know, that just did a film, very terrible acting. Hey. You know, <laughs> but, but Brought his kids, I, but then I won't blame him. I'll blame, I'll, 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 I'll blame the director because that's what happens when you bring someone that that you know doesn't. <laughs> yeah, that, but that's we, not what yeah, we're doing. Yeah, right um, but yeah, um, well, that's it. Yeah, you'll get it. So we don't want to see a lot of those people. I mean, shout out to them, amazing people, but give them roles that fits them. That's what I keep saying. Don't give them anything. They're not actors. Them. But why put them in the film? So that you can just create a buzz and that's all. And get comedic actors if you're looking for that. There are many exactly. Of them. Do we have comedic actors? Oh, yeah. There are plenty. Mr. Ibu was one. Yeah. I mean, I can't be poor. Yeah, he was a comic actor. Yeah. Um, Unke Mowo is a comic actor. Um, he can be a comic actor. Um, there are Osita, many. Osita this, man, is... this man in the Johnsons, what's his name? The father in the Johnsons. Yeah, I do not remember his name. Charles. Or no, in yeah, Charles. Yeah, I'm not he can be a comic actor. So there are plenty. There are many of them. So. It's just because, like you said, Berlin markets and entertainment value. So that's why you bring them in your film. But still, they won't sell your film. You get me? Like, mm -hmm. they won't sell your film. I won't watch the film because I'm seeing maybe um, a Naspo in the film. It's not going to... It's not, the numbers will not go up because, you know, so yeah. Because I also but expect then, this to be nominated, Sha. Who's that? <clears throat> this Breath of Life. I mean, that's if it's put Seven out. nominations, seven wins. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a good film. I'll give you a seven over ten. I think it's the highest oh, I've given a film. Whoa. No, 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 no. It was only, it was only the number I gave. You? We think, no, 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 we no, no, think no. you're... See, like I said, right, I would not, I would not judge a film based on some little inconsistencies. Mm -hmm. But right? that's what you're doing right now. No, no, no. If, if I was going to do that, I won't get a seven. You'll get a four. If I, was, if, I was, if I was going to judge on... <laughs> I mean, it's well past On five. what, on the... So, but these are little, little things that can be excused. But does it take away from the fact that it was a good story? No. No. Does it take away from the fact that it was well told? That the casting was good and the acting was good, you know. Not it doesn't take away from that, you know. So it's a good film. Seven over ten is well deserved. Yeah, and that's some period. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we're talking off air, you know, comparing the deaths or how they try to kill themselves in Dead Serious. Uh, that's that the, that's the joke. film with Sabinus and how they try. And your to, favorite actor, Nas Boy. I mean, it's not my favorite actor. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he's a, I don't think he's an actor. You know? I, I think he's just a comedian. He's a joker. Yeah, comedians are jokers, right? They tell jokes, right? If you tell a joke, you're a joker, right? He's a skit maker. It's all joy. It's not just an he's actor. A, I think comedians. Yeah. It's not an actor, but yeah, seven over ten. It was good. Like I said, it's still my best film so seven far. Seven plus. Yeah. It's my no, best film so far. Five. Even this year, it's still my best film this year. I added point five on your behalf. That's that's fair. Fair enough, you yes, know. And we, we should see more films like this. Yes, yes that have meaning. Yes. Yeah, yes. that substance. actually has, that you know, picks substance. how yeah, reality you know, substance, is. You know, not you trying to die and you're in not, falling. Not, uh, not the ghost guy. The physical. Let's let's just move on. <laughs> We're done. Okay, and it's a wrap, guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>